a child is born out of simplicity. But as we grow, so do our taste buds. Which brings us to our next stop, Mayard Tavern on Six Corners. Coincidentally, it's the same amount of toppings you'll find on our next patty. Our die-hard viewers and the foodies who watch this show will recognize your face. I get to play Alex Trebek for 10 okay, seconds. Okay, yeah, good. An Italian restaurant that's a staple in Chicago and featured on our first ever Alfresco episode. Hmm, Piccolo Sonio? Well, obviously, you know, you're supposed to say what is. Oh, what is? What is Mayard Tavern? What is it about your burgers that speak to people and that have already caught the attention of Chicago? I believe it's the Maillard reaction. That's why we named it the Maillard Tavern. So we take the burger, and it's an eight-ounce burger. Instead of making one big burger, we do it in two four-ounce patties because I get four sides of extra flavor. There's literally nothing better than a beer and burger. The juiciness, the texture makes it all. It's I think it's prehistoric. It's probably... It's prehistoric? The, the need for raw meat. If we all could just have a burger together, I think all of our problems would start to fade away. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Warren with her running mate, the burger. <laughs> Unifying America once again. That would be a great platform. Right. Thank you, Elizabeth. There is one that sticks out that has also caught our attention. That burger's called the City Slicker. That's right, yep. That burger is an inspiration to a French dish that I grew up making called the Tornado Rossini. You had me at Meat Tornado. Classic burger. Classic burger. Foie gras. Foie gras, caramelized onions for a little bit of sweetness, uh -huh. crispy prosciutto, Swiss cheese, and a foie gras mayonnaise to top it off. It's all these fancy ingredients. You think it's like such an extravagant place, but it's a burger. You're, you're not the man behind the station. No, place, I'm not right? anymore, because I need to go make pasta across the street at Bigelow, but I got Ray. Ray Ray. You're going to come back and eat with me? Oh, hell because yeah. Because after making all that pasta, you're going to need yourself a craft beer, and you're going to need yourself a burger. Absolutely. All right. So what have we got here? Just some... We saw the fact. The decadence just got raised another notch. Yes. Go That's the smallest pan in the world. I've seen bigger earrings. Foie gras. Salt and both sides too. You can smell the flavor. I can smell the flavors of everything. There are flavors just coming at me from every direction. Oh, there's a nice bit of mayo going on in there. So now you can take a... Uh, Sweet cheese. So now you see the the the, the giant tongs for the smallest pan in the world. Do you mind holding my giant tongs? Hey now. Thank you, sir. Put the hat on it. Mm -hmm. So you know we make sure that the, the whole cheese is really melted. Ray, science. Ray Ray the science guy. Ray Ray the science guy. You know how I know you're a scientist? Yes. Yeah, because you're wearing a white coat. All scientists wear white jackets. Fact. That's the fact, Jack! On the bottom pan, the black truffle. Black truffle. Black truffle pesto. This is not a burger for the faint-hearted. This is no kid's play. No. You've tried all the other burgers, you've gone to the Gateway Burgers, now you want to go hardcore. Yeah. You're like, you're looking for your new dealer. Yeah. May our tavern is your place. Like, yeah. give me the hard stuff. Black truffle mayo. Of course, of course it's it is. Of course it's not just mayo, it's black so it's truffle black mayo. black truffle mayo. Now you can take it, your burger, and I'll see you. The cheese is really good, really good and melting. Of course it is. I trust you, you're a scientist. And All we right. finish it with a prosciutto and a, this truffle. So we, this we're taking some truffle and we're shaping yes, some truffle on top we as shape well. It. So you can put a little, 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 little. I little told you, little. not for the faint hearted. You can smile when you when you slice it. Yeah, dude, I can smell about 3,000 other things going on here right now. And you know what that is? Mm hmm. That's science, people. You do more science stuff with the fries, I'm gonna go and meet Tony for a burger. <laughs> I want to jump in. I'm going to join you. Click me, big man. Thank you. Cheers. It's like an explosion in your mouth. It's a revelation. Some people talk about a white light they see when things happen, or they feel like they've been blessed, or something's happened. Burger is, is that cathartic moment. There are so many different exaggerated levels of outrageous insanity. It's a smoking jacket put on top of a Fabergé egg. 
I don't know where I'm going with this. What I'm saying is, it's, wow. it's stupidness on top of ridiculousness. That's astonishing. Wow. I'm speechless. It's just a joy to huff it up, to just sit here yeah. and just smell those smells. Wipe it on my T-shirt, and just every now and then we we'll go like, like your first dance when you were a little kid. Right, yeah, and then and you and smell the perfume, you're like, oh wow, yes. Right. Do you think the dogs in the neighborhood will chase me? Maybe. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's for him. This is for me. If you make one stop, come on down. Experience indulgence like you never had before. This is like Sybaris on a plate. <laughs>